What if your developers had the same freedom as Amazon, but you could increase your governance? There's a way to do that coming up next. SDR News coverage of AWS reInvent made possible by Dome 9. Total control and visibility over your cloud infrastructure, network, and host security. Garantia, the in-memory NoSQL company, offering enterprise-class Redis for developers. Encapsula, website security, always on protection from bots and DDoS and real-time stats on visitors and threats. Skillbase, leveraging MySQL and scaling out data at the speed of your business. And eMind, architecting, building, and operating enterprise-grade clouds in billion-dollar HIPAA, DCI DSS, and SOX environments. More coverage of AWS reInvent online or on the SDR News Roku channel. Okay, so we are here at the reInvent show, Amazon reInvent show, uh, SDR News. My name is Ophir Nachmani from I Am On Demand. Um, very intense, very interesting conference. Um, together with me today is Sebastian, CEO of Scaler, right? That is correct. Um, and I'll, you know, let's just deep dive into the question and ask, what is the challenge that Scaler, you know, currently um, help Amazon users to overcome? Yeah, that, that's a very good question. Um, so we found that in today's enterprise, IT likes to enforce policies for security reasons, but when you're faced with rogue IT and developers going to Amazon directly, they're not able to control, govern, and enforce their policies. Mm -hmm. So we have a system, uh, software that allows the DevOps to have the same freedom and the same agility that they get on Amazon, while still giving IT the ability to centrally manage, govern, uh, and regulate how the cloud is going to be used. So it's governance and controllability of, of, of the resources of Amazon Cloud, right? Correct. Um, a little example would be, uh, IT might to want to have a policy that all infrastructure needs to be in a certain VPC. Mm -hmm. If a developer is given uh, access to the console, he can launch instances that are outside, and that's potentially a security risk. So one example of a governance policy would be to enforce that all infrastructure would be inside the inside of particular VPC. No, that makes sense. Um, and how much time you are already doing that? It's so for a few started, years already, right? We started this as an open source project uh, five years ago, oh. uh, and we're now a multi-million dollar independent company that that does this full time with 22 developers. Very impressive. And can you elaborate more about your solution? You know how exactly you are doing it. What is the functionality? Um, it's perhaps a little bit more than we would be able to get into here in, in the middle of the show, but um, in essence, uh, Scalar is a web-based interface um, that has an API, and uh, it's an abstraction layer over multi-cloud um, platforms. So you can use OpenStack, you can use CloudStack, you can use Amazon Google Compute Engine, and manage all of them in the same homogeneous manner. Pretty interesting. So you're talking about multi-cloud management. Correct. Multi-cloud management specifically for the enterprise and making IT happy, making DevOps happy. Excellent. And is there a typical you know, user, customer, typical size of company or footprint that it's relevant for Scalar? Yeah. Um, I'd say if a company is publicly traded, oh. that, that, that makes it a very good candidate because it has a certain size, a certain revenue, a certain... Um, uh, some amount of operations staff. Um, that's typically where we see the most success. Among the public companies uh, that are customers, we have, um, we have Adobe, we have Samsung, we have Oracle, we have um, Accenture, Disney, uh, laundry list. Yeah, a pretty, veteran, uh, a pretty veteran player in the domain of cloud, as, as people know, as I know for sure. And I saw here that you have a lot, you know, of you know, ecosystem, we're talking about Eucalyptus, Oracle, Expedia. Can yeah. you elaborate more about, you know, what you're doing with, the, with your partners and what is the vision here? Yeah, so the, the, the folks that we partner the most with are, of course, Amazon, uh, but also all the private cloud vendors, all the public cloud vendors, mm -hmm. so that when a company such as Expedia decides to use the cloud, they're able to choose which ones they want to use and still have the governance and the, the controls that they need to to be successful and, and uh, guarantee the privacy of, of their data. Excellent. So and how, is, how is the show till, today, till now? You, you've been in the show last year? Yes. The, uh, so we, 
this year is an amazing 9,000 people. I think last year was 7,000. Uh, the scale of this is monstrous. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And um, if someone wants to reach you, get more information, get a demo? Um, Scalar.com. Uh, but I can be reached at Sebastian at Scalar.com and I'll be happy to introduce anybody to the relevant engineer on my team that can answer that person's questions. Excellent. Thank you very much for the time. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, enjoy the show. Take care.